What's up, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to fix a rather annoying issue that you could be experiencing when you're trying to install apps from the Xbox App Store on Windows. I've got Game Pass, I'm trying to download a game here, and as you can see, as soon as I start the download, I get an error something like this. Something unexpected happened, error code 0x followed by I think 7 zeros and a 1. Well, the absolute simplest thing to do is hit the X next to the item on the list to cancel it out when you're on the download screen. When you do that, it'll cancel the installation completely and you'll need to look it up on the store once again. When you try to restart the download itself, things should hopefully work properly. And as you can see, after restarting the download, things are working properly for me. But let's assume that they didn't. What else can you try, especially if you get a similar error once again while the actual download is running? Well, usually cancelling and restarting an installation is all that's really required. Let's go ahead and reset the Microsoft Store and run the Microsoft Store Repair Tool. Hit Start and I at the same time to open up the Settings window. And inside of here, head across to the Apps section. Inside of here, we'll be searching for Store, clicking on it, and then clicking Advanced Options. Inside of here, we'll scroll down to the very bottom and then click the reset button over here, followed by reset once again. When this completes, your Microsoft Store will be reset and hopefully things will be repaired with it, though you might need to log in again. If you have any downloads that are currently running, you may lose progress on those downloads, I'm not too sure, but all of your installed applications should stay exactly where they are, pretty much intact. Something else that we can try is repairing the Windows Store itself using a built-in tool. Press start and then type in WSRESET, WS reset. As soon as you complete that command, you'll see this appear on your screen. Click it and it'll open the Windows Store Repair Tool or rather Windows Store Reset Tool. When this automated process finishes, it should go through all of the files for the Microsoft Store and hopefully repair anything if it's missing. After it completes, it either opens up the Windows Store or it'll vanish out entirely and you can start up the Windows Store that way. As you can see, it started up and I'm logged in again. Assuming I restarted the Xbox app, if it wasn't working, it should be working. If you've previously installed Windows apps on a specific drive, and now you're trying to install more apps to that drive, it could be an issue with the installation, something like permissions or something along those lines. If you have an install from a previous version of Windows or another computer, there may be a permissions error. If we open up the drive where I'm trying to install to, in my case, eDrive, you'll see the Windows apps folder, WP system, WU download cache, as well as a bunch of other folders that I may not be spotting quite just yet. Maybe these, not too sure. Anyways, the Windows apps folder could be something causing issues. Now, usually you're not able to open this simply because it's owned by a different user, something along those lines, and you can give yourself access on the security tab, unable to display current owner. Now, I know for a fact that this came from a previous installation of Windows, and this could likely be something causing an issue. Something that you can do is download a simple program called Take Ownership, and after installing it, you can right click on the folder and then click Take Ownership. This will run through everything in the folder and give you access to it. So if we open up the Windows Apps folder now, you can see we are actually allowed access into it and we can see programs inside of it. Though I can't access the first one as still installing. As such, if a program was installed on a previous version of Windows and it's not installed here, you could try deleting the folder or at least renaming it, giving you the opportunity to rename it back, making it seem like you deleted it, and try to reinstall the application through the Xbox Game Pass, Windows Store, etc. So you could cancel the download, get rid of it completely, close the Xbox Store, head across to the files, rename the folder of the app that you're currently trying to install, therefore resetting the installation completely, basically as if you had deleted it, then try and re-download the actual program itself, and hopefully things will work. If it doesn't, worst case, you can change the name back and you'll be back to where you started. There are a couple other fixes that I could go through here, though I'd rather link you across to a much more complete other video of mine as I go through quite a few fixes in some detail. It may seem a bit lazy for me to do this, but I think I've phrased them pretty well and pretty succinctly here. In nine minutes, I go through quite a few fixes. Here are the fixes that I go through here. Of course, we already did WS Reset. So to keep things nice and simple, this video will be linked in the description down below, where we'll go through a simple registry fix, WS Reset, which we've already tried, the Windows Store Troubleshooter, restarting and resetting the Windows Store, which we did here, claiming ownership of the Windows Apps folder, which we also did here, though in this video, I mentioned it deleting or at least renaming files inside of it, as well as reinstalling the Xbox app and dependencies, restarting the download, changing region via VPN, etc. If you know how to do any of these other tips, you're more than welcome to attempt them. But if you get lost anywhere along the way, I would recommend checking out this video. 
that I have a link down below. Usually, the first fix in this video, simply cancelling your installation and restarting it will work as this is a very basic issue that happens pretty much instantly without downloading any files. Another issue could be that it can't delete or update files that already exist, etc, etc. It's a super basic error that happens right at the start of a download, so you've probably fixed it by now. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!